Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sabine Aydanova. Today I will explain a task. This task is vectors A and B make an angle alpha. This angle is equal to 60 degrees. And the absolute value of the vector A is equal to 1 and absolute value of the vector B is equal to 2. Now we have to find absolute value sum of vectors a and b and absolute value of difference of vectors a and b now solution we are given that vectors a and b for example this is vector a and this is vector b make an angle 60 degrees Okay, absolute value of vector A is equal to 1 and absolute value of vector B is equal to 2. And yes, they are given. Absolute value of sum of vectors A and B. What is equal to? This is equal to square root of square of vectors sum of vectors a and b. This absolute value of module of sum of vectors a and b is equal to square root of square of sum of vectors a and b. And this equal to square of vector A plus square of vector B plus two times scalar product of vectors A and B. You know that Scalar product of vectors A and B is equal to absolute value of vector A times absolute value of vector B times cosine alpha. Alpha is the angle between vectors A and B. Now, this will equal to square root of square of vector A plus square of vector B plus two times module of or absolute value of vector B times module or absolute value of vector B times cosine alpha. Yes. Then um, we learned and we solved that absolute value of sum of vectors A and B is equal to this part square root of square of vector a plus square of vector b plus two times absolute value of vector a times absolute value of vector b times cosine alpha here alpha is the angle between the vectors a and b now then absolute value of sum of vectors a and b is equal to square root of we know that module or absolute value of vector a is equal to 1 then 1 squared plus absolute value or module of vector b is equal to 2 so 2 squared plus 2 times square root of and sorry module or absolute value of vector a is equal to 1 times Module or absolute value of vector B is equal to 2 times cosine 60 because angle between the vectors A and B is equal to 60 degrees. We know it from the... yeah. So this is equal to square root of... 1 squared is 1 plus 2 squared is 4 plus... 2 times 1 times 2 times cosine, cosine 60 
cosine 60, we know it from trigonometry that cosine 60 is equal to 1 over 2. So 2 will be cancelled and our answer will be 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Then we know that um, absolute value or module of sum of vectors a and b is equal to square root of 7. Now we also have to find the value of absolute value of difference of vectors a and b. Now I know that this is equal to square root of square of difference of vectors a and b. Now I will simplify it. Then this will be square of vector a plus square of vector b minus two times scalar product of vectors a and b. And you know that scalar product of vectors a and b is equal to absolute value of vector a times absolute value of vector b times cosine alpha. Alpha is here the angle between the vectors a and b. Now a squared square of vector a plus square of vector b minus 2 times module of vector a times module of vector b times cosine alpha. Yes, and in our task, square of vector a is equal to 1 squared plus square of vector b is equal to 2 squared minus 2 times absolute value of vector a is equal to 1 and absolute value of the vector b is equal to 2 and cosine alpha between the vectors alpha is the between the vectors a and b is equal to 60 degrees and cosine uh, 60 is equal to 1 over 2 so 2's will be cancelled out then 1 squared is 1 plus 4 is 5 minus 2 is 3 then absolute value of difference of vectors a and b is equal to square root of 3 that's all that's the solution of this task yes and uh, what did i do here and uh, you know that you have to know these formulas i mean scalar product of vectors a and b which is equal to absolute value of vectors and cosine alpha which is alpha the angle between the vectors yes and you know you have to know this formula and you have to know all of this this is the solution of this task yes and this is the solution of this task